Hello once more, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry. <laughs> kind of happens like that. Anyway, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of Age of Wonders. This is the continued adventures of me playing Age of Wonders 3. And we'll dive right into it. Last time was a very short video. Um, and I intend to try to make these sort of like 20, 30 minutes, sort of like that. But anyway, we'll go right into it. Now, here's an interesting thing. We got a alignment system. Either they, they're trying to flee, right? So either I say no mercy and I'm evil and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna kill them all. Or we say let them run. Uh, I haven't really decided yet what alignment I want to be. Now, if you're wondering what alignments do, is that our alignments depends on uh, um, what enemies, not enemies, what units you have. For example, there's dread penguins, and dread penguins are very evil. So if you're good or neutral and not evil, they get a terrible morale. They they hate it in your army. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have no mercy actually. I think I will. Because uh, I want to have the experience on my units and honestly if I can compensate on other ways with alignment then I will do such. And this is, as far as I know, majorly consisting of uh, melee units. So that should not pose a major problem to me. See, they're running forward. Yes, they are melee. They do not have a range attack, but they have shields. Let's see here. Should I do something? That is machine. That is suffering. Um, I don't want to cast anything right at the moment. I want to shoot a musket. That is range penalty. So let's see here. How close do I have to get? About this close. Yeah, 20 to 30. Straight shot. That's good. 25. That's an average. Uh, let's see here. They're out of range for that. So I presume I'll have to be sort of here. Even closer. But they will essentially possibly die. Yes, they died. Great. Now I don't have to give a shit about them. Uh, I'm going to move these up here. Because I don't want to be outflanked, to be honest. They're going to defend. Uh, these are going to move up here and try to come around here and flank. And we'll support with... I'll see if I can range from here. Wait, that's out of range. God damn it. Hmm, this is a very hard call actually. Um, what's this? This is that they can sprint. Sprinting provides additional attacks to avoid it. Units can't, uh, uh, units can't attack an enemy after a sprint. Alright. So I can essentially run very fast forward, but I can't attack. Now, my thinking here is that I want to stand here, but I'm afraid that they'll just close in and kill them. So, we'll do like this. Uh, okay. Barely any damage at all, but better to play it safe than sorry, you know? Let's see here, we've got one knight left. I could just charge them. Uh, they will retaliate, and he's 33. How much do they hit for? 11. Uh, three times! Holy shit, those are in deep shit, those guys are in deep shit. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to do here. I think, I, I think I'll risk it. Probably gonna sacrifice a knight here, but I'll risk it. Alright, got some of them down. Uh, let's see, is anyone else going to... Nope! Click enter. Alright. Ow. Ow. Well, yeah. Yeah, I unnecessarily sacrificed those, as it turns out. Uh, which sucks. To be honest, but hey, we're learning things, aren't we? Uh, for example, we're learning that these guys are fucking slow. <laughs> they are really, really slow, which is uh, terrible for everyone involved. Oops, this wasn't the plan. I didn't remember that they were standing there. So we're gonna do like this, pal. <laughs> Take 14 damage for killing him off. And then you can shoot there. 
And Plum has first strike. But they will essentially die. Yeah. Alright, good. So that taxed us pretty heavily. We lost a nine. Uh, which I am not too happy about. But, you know. Things come at a cost. You can't just expect to uh, win without producing more units and uh, generally having a more thought out plan. So, if we get a good look here, what we are facing up infantry, high elf swordsmen, high elf initiates. Okay. I want to rest up some, but. I don't have any healing spells as far as I know. I'm fire. I built this guy to be built around fire, maybe. I could kill these though. They don't seem all too strong, to be honest. Mainly because there's so few of them, and I have played with those units before, so I know sort of what they do. A hero has leveled up. Alright, I get to show you guys the level up screen. This is very interesting for my part, at least. So. We got here, we got five upgrade points. Now I could just close this and just say, oh, I'm gonna spare, like save my points, but I don't want to do that. I want to use my points. All right. So we're gonna see here. This is uh, how many points the things cost that you want to buy. This is how much experience your character has, and this is how many points you got. Pretty simple. So for example, we can uh, learn a spell that costs twelve spell points. Yep, you see them up here, 20 out of 20. You can improve those and they regenerate after a while and stuff like that. So, it's, um, it's if, if you want to go mage, you can do this. It's 21 uh, damage with a spell. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. Sorcery, increase the spell points, allowing you to cast more spells per turn. Mm, no, I'm actually going to go with the fist, because I want to have a strong range attack. I want to be able to wear down the enemy before I even get close. Um, yeah, let's go. No mercy. Hopefully I don't lose anything from this. I'll be sort of disappointed <laughs> if I'm going no mercy and then lose stuff. What? I got immolated already? Oh my god, this is terrible. I forgot to tell you this, guys, that the environments are very, very, very ranging. This is like a fire well, uh, sort of. And they got an AoE attack, a fireball attack, that they lunge. If you're wondering how come they can hit me. Uh, 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 what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, so you can cast several spells, I didn't realize. Huh. Alright, so I can heal actually. So I heal her. Hmm. I think I should. Yes! Brilliant. So she spent her turn healing. I could charge. But I could also. I'm gonna charge anyway, I might as well check. The musket does. Oh, the musket can actually one shot them, so let's do that. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> I had witch. Wi witched. Witched. Wished. Or hoped for that they would die from that, but apparently not. So we're gonna try to do something risky here. I should have counted. Ah. Ah, yes. Yes! The risk was worth it. See, the risk there was that I had not counted right, and that my enemy, my, uh, that the enemy would be able to snipe me, uh, and that I would just stand in a poor position. But that was not the case. So defend, defend, quick death turn. Still immolated, still burning, hurts. Ow! I'm on fire! <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, so that was their turn. I can't shoot them, but I still got a range memory. How the heck do I still have a range memory? Alright, so. Alright, there we go. Range up! Uh, I mean, uh, rank up! Nice! Uh, did 
they have full HP? Yes, they do. So let's try to mitigate the damage as much as we can throughout everyone. All right, there we go. No losses at all. Had to cast a spell, but you know, worth it. And they get a promotion. Trooper experience. All right, here you can see what the different things do when you rank up. Trooper, you get a melee strength, you get two hit points, veteran, expert, and then elite. Yeah. You, you, you get the point. Fire nodes, I got mana. Was it worth it? It was probably worth it for the experience, not so much for the actual resource, because I don't need mana that much. Uh, to be honest with you. I want to hire. Oh, I can summon more spider arms. Oh. Oh, my. We will then. Alright, it takes a turn to actually throw it. Um, we could join him up there, or I could just keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this. I wanna explore, I wanna know where I can attack. Uh, uh, Alright, I forgot to mention this that units have preferred climates. So, for example, humans don't like Arctic because it's freaking cold. And uh, that lowers morale. When they are in an environment that they don't like, it it makes them lose morale. So I'm gonna go explore with that one. Uh, do I have anything else I want to check out? Um, could do like this. We'll run up here. What's this? Scrolls of knowledge. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It was a boost to our current. Uh, Current research, so we actually got a summon hellhound spell now, which is nice. We can reinforce our uh, troops with hellhounds. Let's see here, what's this? Strategic spell, instant spell. May the god let the survivor return to more world. Reset the curse is far, so blah blah blah. Alright, so. If a hero ever dies, we can resurrect him. It costs a hell of a lot of resources, but hey. Repair fortification and dragon oil. What is dragon oil? Enemy useful for dragon cover. Have a chance to immolate it. Immolate it. Alright. So it's sort of like uh, we get to have a fiery area around our city. And I, I don't want to have that. Produce engineer. Hmm. They seem to do very good damage. I'm actually going to research that. And then we will. And turn Amy. Right, we got that. Empire upgrade, Empire wide upgrade. And now we can research Musketeer. Oh my. We shall do that. Because I want special units if they put. Uh go forth, little robots. Explore! Um, Alright, so that's just boars. Boars are not very tough to kill. Possibly kill them. What's this? This is a node serpent. Uh, seems to have the phase ability, which is a teleport once time in combat. High HP, high defense, so I don't really want to fight those things. The, the wisps would be easy, the phantasm, arguably easy. The node serpent, no. So that that's my. That's my uh, verdict. No. <laughs> no. I want to cast Spider. Uh, should I add him to. No. I think I should have this guy go down into this direction. We get, like, full. We, he can go actually go down there. Let's, let's settle that out. Uh, what's this? Do I want to attack him? Yeah, why not? I won't actually reach before, so... Uh, hmm, I could start to prepare to summon Hellhound and have him in my army. That would be nice. So, we're gonna do that. Confirm any movement. Uh, or army movement as it is. We'll see here. Did I miss anything? What's that? Add some free city upgrade to your close city. Alright. See? You want to explore. You don't want to have just 
The units stand around and do nothing. It's just me being so deep. Builders Hall, built at the Salt City of Norn. What do you know, Joe? The city generates an additional 20 construction points and unlocks the production of settler and builder units. All right, so I can expand with cities. Nice. The hero wants to join me. A mariner at level two warlord wants to join your forces. 150 gold, you say? Yes, I will accept. Uh, and I'll probably make a force out of this. Because honestly, I could use uh, I could use an army that expands into these home territories while I have far going expansions to the left. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. What do you want to do? No mercy, I'm so evil. Actually, I have purpose for doing it. I want resources, I need resources, I need the experience, I want a trained army. It's just better. So, let's do that. <clears throat> let's see here. It's moving straight forward, and then we've got the casters incoming. Those are not so worrying to me. Let's see, what can you cast? Magic Fist. I want to cast that. Star Blades. Inflict shock. Shocking and plus one strength until end of combat. Alright, so lose movement points. So that's good if you want to do it like. Uh, do it on, say, uh, what are they called? On a range unit, so you can slow them down. So, um, I'm actually gonna fire on base because I don't want to have to deal with uh, what's it called? I don't want to have to deal with those units in melee. They're quite painful in melee. Uh, can I go closer? Still range bounty. Find the 30. Just to make sure that they die. There you go. Finish them off. We're going up here. So, as such. And we're actually going to sprint with these over here. And then you're going to defend. Uh, we're going to defend. And these I want to put in a choke point here. And defend. Alright. Got a pretty good setup here. Right, he falls back with those and tries to attack my hero. Probably he's trying to kill my hero, but to no avail. And my hero gets a rank. Nice. Nice. Uh, don't have enough casting points to actually cast a heal spell, so that's less nice. Uh, I could flank him. Kill him for free, essentially. Go do. Flank. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You flank them. Easy. Uh, what should I do with you? You should actually back off, I think. Just to make sure that the enemy can't kill me that easily. Throw these and um, what HP do they have? Nine. I suppose it's a nine if it's full and not have any line of sight blockage, so <sighs> I don't want to do this. Honestly, I'm just I'm just gonna block here. Yeah, shoot you with lightning. Maybe you died. Oh, they died. GG. <laughs> Didn't expect them to die there. Uh, that was so unexpected, to be honest. But fairly nice. And we got a level. So let's see here. What do we have? Tunneling. 
This unit is able to dig through dirt, caverns, and walls. Uh, considering we're not on the ground, I don't see why we would want that. Repair machine. Restore 15 to the target friendly machine unit. That will be useful if we go uh, flame tanks. Vision range upgrade. Oh, now, now you're playing with fire. Gain 200 morale. I'm not certain. I'm not certain, actually. Oh, we're gonna go vision upgrade, I think. And we're gonna go with range strength twice. Yes. I want to make him into a, a uh, offensive powerhouse essentially as well striving after him hmm do I want to do anything here uh, no I got the war hall next round so I'll move her out out there has grown into a town so uh, borders have expanded yay that's good get more income uh, confirm the movement of the spy drone. Yes, go to the carto cartographer. There's a town up there, from the looks of it. Uh, I will actually go explore that. That, that is a mana node. So that is mana. Not worth to fight for with those enemies, though, to be honest. I'm gonna fly over here. Look at the gold. We're gonna see what's down here. We got some fell horses. I haven't met those. They can't move very far. They don't seem to be that fearsome overall, I must say. What am I talking about? They have very high movement. I read wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got Toadstool Fairy. I've had those. Eh, they're pretty good. Draconian Hunter. Short bow, befriend animal, melee strike. So, befriend animal is that you can actually man try to mind control animal units. You can cast CC spells like Berserk, uh, slowing stuff and stuff like that. It was stunning stuff as well, but it has a certain percentage chance of failing as well. Just keep that in mind. Seduce, nymph. So, she's like, can CC stuff, etc. Alright, I get it. In one round, we'll be able to summon our hellhounds. Very nice. V very nice! Um, do I want to construct an orc impaler? No, I don't want orc impalers. Do I? No, I want engineers. That's right. Upkeep is fairly short. Takes two turns to build them. So, what do we have here? We got the hero. We got two support units, so we got room for three. So we're gonna make, we're gonna do like this. We're gonna build two engineers. Oh, wrong button. Two engineers. Now we want to build a building. So what do we want to build? A lot. I suspect they're infantry, the engineers actually, so we're gonna do it like this. Um, how do I do that? Oh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Wait. There you go. And then, like that. So that we get the rank ups on them first. So they'll come out with, um, I think. Are they infantry? Yeah, I think they're infantry. They should be infantry, shouldn't they? Huh. I'm actually going to check that. Archer. Maybe they aren't accounted for as infantry. I'm, I'm actually uncertain now, and I don't dare to risk it. I don't want to postpone it. So, should we go for research? Mm. What's this? Orc Shock Trooper. Now this I can get behind. Reduce. Alright. 
Hang on. Uh, let's see here, what's this? This is a huntsman longbow. Long swordsman, not longbow. Halibirds, halibirds can be painful. And we got archers. We're sort of at full strength. Sort of, almost. Uh, I should be victorious, I think. We're doing this to strengthen our army to get more or less an expanding empire. If you're wondering what my overarching goal is currently is to like scout the area, get an understanding for the premise, what um, like generally you have build up an army and resources, that's what we're trying to do currently. We're trying to amass things. So see so yeah. I could just charge him. Uh, I don't know how clever that would be, to be honest. Uh, I can shoot them with muskets. Do I do that? Yes, I will shoot my muskets. Alright, that's fairly bad damage. Move him up. And have him move there. Then range at him. We're actually going to throw Magic Fist just to make certain that these die. Because I don't want to have to deal with two units attacking him. That could be very bad news, to be honest with you. So defend, defend. Alright, so he decided against attacking my hero. Uh, maybe he's confident that he can kill him with our hero. Nope, he couldn't. So, essentially we're gonna do like this. Come from behind, flank him. I'm gonna run up to them. Start just chewing into them. And... Yeah. That was actually a very close call. My main hero could have died. But he didn't, so I'm thankful for that. That was very risky, but we got a promotion on this guy. So now he's a trooper. I wonder how far they are from Vetman. Hmm. Anyway, we're getting pretty much XP. 16 of 25, 18 of 25, 10 of, 10 of 25, all right. So, we're getting good experience. We're getting good stuff currently. Now the issue is if I want to move further, if I want to let my greed Take over my senses. Yeah, they got boars there. Hmm. My plan is that I want to kill them, but I'd have to heal up for that. I can't risk it with my current main hero. I'll think about it. I'll move my spider down here, meanwhile. Let's see what I can find. That. That's an unexplored epic treasure site. When explored, adds five construction points, five gold, five crystal, five knowledge when located within your domain. All right, so you actually have to own it as well, like in your domain. You can't just, I guess you get looted if you explore it, but if you actually own it as well afterwards, you get extra stuff. Baby shock serpent. Draconian Apprentice. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen them. And Phantasm Warrior. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna move up here with the intention or the knowledge of the fact that I got Hellhounds incoming. So that's gonna be good. We'll see what happens with that. Then we move up here. What's this? This is Orcs. Mm. Yes. That is a watchtower as well. Hmm. We could perhaps use it. It depends. The main invasion at Norm. Ah, I'll see him. They invade my domain. Where are they? I can honestly not see where they are. <laughs> 
which is kind of silly. Oh, there they are. Uh, well. Hmm. That's really bad. We're probably gonna have to summon Hellhounds here. But are they tough enough to take them alone? No, they are not. And those will be out in a moment. That was a bit reckless of me to just run away from my city. I should have realized that this would happen. Probably gonna want to heal up with these guys at the moment, so. Alright, let's see here. We'll move up here with this exploring. So we've got dread penguins, we got fell horses, we got high elf engineers and prospectors. Alright, I don't wanna attack any of those. Okay, I'm gonna beast. And we'll explore here. Anyway guys, I'm going to cut it short here for now, and next episode you're going to see how I'm going to resolve the conflict with my city and what happens thereof. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.